Hi guys and welcome back. My name is Chris. This is Robot Next Gaming, and we are playing Rachel Legends. This is part two uh, of this video video collection. Uh, so <clears throat> in the last video, it was just choosing our starting character. We chose Kale because he is the best choice out of the four um, in in the long run, uh, just because he's got more usability uh, in mid game and further. Um. Okay, so this is our like our day two login reward. We get parts of a lifesteal set, which is really good uh, to apply on your champions, especially to start off with on your farming champion. Look at that, we've got the chest. And we also get a uh, daily login reward. So that here you can see it's uh, day two. We've got a uh, skill book from this, and we can apply this straight to our champion. Although, no, we can't. We need to get to level 6 before we can unlock that. Okay. Um, I'll just catch myself up here on what <laughs> needs to be done. Because uh, it's been uh, quite a while since I've come on this. So these are our start this is our starting champion. This is Kale. We've also acquired another champion, which is Sniper. Which you get straight away after your first uh, mission, I believe. Uh, so we can only do the campaign for now, let's, let's just uh, run back into this and we kind of want to clear this uh, stage Then we get another free champion, which is going to be our healer So let's continue with these guys <clears throat> um, So we've got our controls down here um, first thing you want to do is put it on times two and you can just go straight into auto and kind of you know, automatically complete these battles. There's going to be you get, there's going to be a point where you won't be able to, um, yeah, where you'll stop uh, completing the stages where you could go to manual and try and win the battle that way. Uh, otherwise, you just need to enhance, uh, upgrade your characters, um, you know, gear them better, upgrade their gear, or you know upgrade their skills or different ascensions or even swap champions out uh, but for now we're just going to keep going through just keep clicking onto the next battle until we get stopped Yeah, we're getting another another level, and we've got Crusade, the Crusader champion. Um, so he's got two nice skills, like attacks. Oh, he's got one nice skill. Uh, his A one, his A one attack, attacks one enemy two times, and his A two ability attacks one enemy with a random ally. The ally joining the attack uses their default skill. Um, so that's nice. If you've got uh, A one AOE champions, they can proc that AOE as well. Okay, so let's go and just add this guy to our startup. So again, we've got our champions in there, we're just going to keep going until we get stopped. And we've got another level up. <clears throat> so this this is a really good um, kind of like a way to keep you engaged in the game because you're starting off and you're leveling up uh, pretty fast uh, from the start. Every time you level up, you get your energy um, refilled. You get the amount of energy that you can hold at one time added to your existing energy. So it just builds up that way as you keep leveling up, which is going to allow you to play for a lot longer when you start the game. Because you won't be running out of resources too fast. And there we go, we leveled up and it's just adding up. See our energy in the top right there. Oh. 
So whenever you start, whenever you start an account on this, make sure you've got like a, a bit of time to be able to spend your energy, and um, because you will be able to get an XP banner soon as well, which is going to give you double double the amount of XP, which is going to help to uh, level your champions up a lot faster. So this is the boss for this stage. Having overcome the castle guard, and then we've got the, the story mode. Called you can stay, hang around, and check out the story if you want. But um, yeah, it's whatever. It's not the best story. Uh, so we got our war priest. Uh, it kind of like skipped past that previous menu as well. So I think we got a full uh, gear set as well, which uh, is the attack gear set. Doing this, but war priest is a pretty good champion. Uh, to start off with, she's going to be your healer for this. Um, so uh, A1 ability attacks one enemy, has a 15% chance of placing a freeze debuff for one turn. Uh, that's pretty low, but with skill ups you can get that to 25%, which again, it's still pretty low. Um, but you want it for this ability and the next one. So A2 ability, um, Ascended, heals the target ally by 20% of their max HP, and also heals all allies except the target by 10% of the target's max HP. <clears throat> um, and this uh, upgrade, you can upgrade the healing on this, so an extra 20% on there. Um, so the target, you target the champion you want to heal, and when it's fully upgraded, you'll be able to heal that champion by 40% of their max HP, and then everyone else around that is going to be healed by 30% of that champion's max HP. And that goes to a three turn cooldown as well. And their A3 ability places a 25% increased attack buff on all allies for two turns. You can get that down to three turns, um, which is alright. Kind of, you know, it's always going to drop for one turn, but it's a good, it's a nice buff, buff to have to start off with. Okay, and here we go. We, from the victory, we've got this, this whole set as well. This is the attack set. Yeah, so hopefully we'll get some good, good pieces of gear from that. So, let's go back to our Bastion. Um, okay, <laughs> so you get a lot of these in game, a lot of these monetization pop-ups. Um, this is your first section, which is when you level up, you get to unlock these rewards. If you pay £48.99p. and um, uh, so there's quite a few rewards there, but as a free-to-play player, we're not going to be purchasing this uh, at all. And this is a tournament. So we're in the novice section because we just started off in the game. We're a low level, so we get to enter in the novice uh, stages of the tournament, which means yeah, everyone else around that level is going to be entered into this as well. So it's less of a threshold to, to hit. It kind of makes things a, a little bit fairer. Uh, for new players to try and get somewhere in this. Okay, so we unlocked a name change. We're gonna change our name. Um. So that's what we can. Um. See at the minute we are player three eight nine nine zero one five three. But we can change it. We do get a free change in here first. Uh, it's whatever we want, so um, let's just go. Let's just change it to that, and that's how we're going to be displayed from now on. Um, and with this tournament, if we wanted to, oh, we just get full full energy. It changed, okay. <laughs> so we just get full energy instead. Okay, so we only get one chance of that. Um, they are arm learning as well. Um, okay, so we wanted to look at our uh, new items that we've acquired. So, because this is going to be our attack champion, and this is going to be the main guy that I'm going to want to get up. Two items we have. So we have HP percentage boots and attack flat attack chest. I'm not going to want to go for any of these. They're not going to increase my performance. What we do want is speed. 
Uh, we also want attack percentage. And we also want crit rate. Uh, so kind of like at the start, it kind of gives you the kind of gear pieces to aim for. Uh, we have slightly better uh, versions of these. So I'm going to equip the Ildo. They don't really have that decent stats, but they got speed. So I'm going to equip these instead. And then I'm going to put the head on as well, just for the extra bonus set. Uh, so now this guy's got a full uh, attack bonus, which is a 45% increase to our attack stats. Which is good. Sort of flash outside. Uh, so anyway. So before we continue, we want to upgrade these as well. <clears throat> so we had a brief tutorial about this uh, in the previous video. Um, just when we got our first few pieces. Uh, so these are our gear pieces. They're rated by stars and they're also rated by colours. Um, so there's a few different colours in the game. Uh, the basic one is white, uh, the next one up is green, and then there's blue, and there's purple, and then there's orange, like the legendary colour. And each colour of these uh, artefacts on the outside uh, dictates how many substats come with that item. So on your white items, if you can see on this, you don't get any substats with it. It's just your, your, your basic stat that's at the top. Um, you know, with the blue ones, we get two substats on there, and with the epic purple ones, we get three substats on there. Um, so, the higher up in the colour adds more substats. It isn't always necessarily the best versions of them, because you can get like an epic coloured item with really rubbish substats. But you can, but because they're already shown on there, you can tell that they're going to be rub rubbish substats. Um, <clears throat> okay, and these stars determine how powerful they are. So the more stars on there, the higher the stats are going to be on your items. This includes uh, your main stat, which is always going to be higher per star, and also has a chance for your substats to be higher as well to get more out of them. Um, so we're going to upgrade these. Um, and it goes up in stages. So whenever you get, whenever you start off, um, and you get some new pieces of gear. If there's no substats on them, you can, it's it's quite okay to take everything you get, everything that you want to use up to rank four. Oh, we got some thunder and lightning going on now. Um, <clears throat> so this is the safest option because uh, again, to rank 4, you're always going to succeed in getting that upgrade. And it's going to be uh, less cost to get that because anything above 4, there's a chance that it's going to fail. Um, so these are all up to your first 4, they're always guaranteed to succeed. And every level you go up, the price increases as well. So, yeah, you want <coughs> to make sure you're taking that into account especially going from the higher levels from uh, 12 to 16 because the, the the money the silver required for that is going to be quite high and if you're failing like um, you know 9 out of 10 times then that adds up quite a lot <clears throat> but yeah this is always the easy option especially when you sign out gearing go up to level 4 um, especially with real white items, then you can see if you get lucky with a nice stat. If you get a green item, there's going to be one stat on there, so it's always going to upgrade that one. Um, with these blue stats, we've already got two substats on there, so every four levels we go up, we've got a chance of increasing them substats. Um, so with these levels as well, I should probably point this out first. Uh, if you get to your first, uh, if you get to level four, it uh, <clears throat> enhances or unlocks one substat on your artifact piece so if you don't have any substats you get to level four it's going to add a substat there it's going to be a random substat if you've already got substats on there and you get to level four it's going to enhance one of those substats already on there you can't choose these these are random whichever one it picks and it can, it's going to go up in order as well 
So if we upgrade to level 8, it's still going to be enhance one of these substats. Uh, so it's going to take us to one substat, two substat. If we go to three substats, it's going to add another substat for the new bonus. If we take it up to 16, it's going to add an additional substat at the bottom. Um, obviously, if we had an epic one, all these substats will be shown, which means getting up to 16 is just going to have a chance to increase uh, the substats already there. That was a bit of a mouthful, but I hope that was a bit helpful for you when you're uh, trying to do this and also trying to decide what kind of artifacts to level up which ones are going to be best for you Okay, so let's just get the rest of these up um, and get back into the game So I'm going to get all these up to level 4, because these are the, like the, the guaranteed wins in up, upgrading these artifacts. I'm also going to see if I can equip any of the items on any of my other characters that are going to benefit them. Um, <clears throat> actually, no I'm not. I'm going to hold off, because I think soon we get a nice uh, HP set, and I'm going to put that on my healer. Uh, we do have a few other items here. We could put these on... Uh, one or two other, other champions, which I might actually do. We could use it for her, but it depends. I'll save, I'll, I'll keep hold of them for now. Uh, just because we might get a, a better option to use them for later on. Um, so once we clear this stage, we're going to get this, this reward, which is a six piece uh, HP artifact bonus set. Uh, so let's go through these. And obviously, here's the video. If you if you wanted to go, for, I'm not going to show it in this one because it takes too long, to go there. and we've got loads to do with this. So um, I don't know if I went over this as well, but when you set up your team, you get a leader slot, um, which means you can add an aura to your team. So Kale has a aura ability, which increases our HP in all battles by 15%. Um, not all champions have these, but uh, most of them do. And this just improves the stats or yeah, improves the stats of all your champions in that team. Um, always read the descriptions. Some of these abilities are only in, uh, work in certain areas. This is in all battles, so we're fine to use this guy. And it'll pop up at the top there, or a skill, increase ally HP in all battles by 15%. That's gonna be to everyone. some gear as well um, so the next piece of gear we get I'll kind of like quickly take you through what this means in terms of campaign camp campaign campaign farming uh, and what you can get for campaign and if it's better to grind gear from here or someone else somewhere else so we got a gem this time We got a nice uh, Mystic Child from here. Uh, you're either going to get Mystic Shards or uh, Mystic, Mystic Shards, Artifacts, or Champions from from one of these dungeons. And another level up. You can see how quickly we're leveling up. You see our energy not going down, it's just increasing every time. Which is brilliant. <clears throat> it 
kind of this game does a really good job of like drawing you into that experience so um you know when you run out of resources you kind of have that urge to like want to invest in getting more resources but yeah once, once we're past um like all the like free level up energy replenish Replenishments, yeah, things will slow down a lot in this game um, unless you're paying for paying for energy boosts and stuff like that. Um, as a free-to-play player, it's going to slow down a lot. Um, so you're going to be logging on, doing your dailies, and yeah, that's probably about it. To be fair. Okay, so tavern unlocked. Um, skip this for now. And here we got a we got an artifact from this dungeon. Uh, which is only one star. I think from the first load, this is the normal campaign difficulty, and you can get one to three stars on these pieces. And they're more than likely going to be just your basic uh, white common pieces. So as we keep going through these battles as well, these battles are going to take longer and longer to complete. So we just completed a daily quest while we were going through this campaign. So that's one less to do a bit later. So this is the boss of this this level this stage well this act, act rather after dispatching the lizard men tainted and the end the of the story for that okay so we leveled up again that's level nine and then we've got our new set pieces which we've unlocked as well um <clears throat> so that's a six piece hp artifact set and we also got a um an attack head from this from just doing this stage which came out as a rare it's only one star though so we're probably probably never gonna use that um okay so let's go back to our bastion uh, and get back to the pop-ups uh so <clears throat> this one is a pretty good one if you sign up with a few friends you get a, a referral link uh which means if you take this link copy and paste it somewhere where your friends can see in like a you know, on a website <laughs> or send it to them through uh, a messaging service or something they can uh, click this link go onto a download screen and download the game and then that will mean that will activate them as a referral to you so whenever they level up, level up you get rewards for it um okay <clears throat> we're going up in the tournament as well uh, so you get a lot of these especially when you first log into the game these are all the monetization packs that they uh, throw out there um, a lot of them will be like oh like uh, you know like 60 percent off like really good deal and stuff just to try and get you to buy stuff um if they've got any of those no not yet <laughs> okay and as you can see around the screen this is our, our bastion there's a lot of uh, red dots on here are all around the screen and these mean there's something new on there you can collect or claim um this is our chest up here anything that we've overflown that we don't have enough space for in our in our champion inventory or just stuff that we've collected from logins will show up here um okay so this is all compensation for game uh, issues so we've got quite a bit of energy they've given us here and they've got some uh, one day XP boosters here, so we've only got two days left on these, so we should probably use these very soon before they start to disappear. Um, so we can just collect these, and these go into our storage systems on um, in our accounts. So we also got one of these. That's nice. 
So you're not always going to have this when you start a new game. It's just there's been some issues lately, so we've had these. Um, I'll get leave them in there just for now. <clears throat> um, and then switch to this side. This is our daily, uh, our, our daily playtime rewards. Um, let's see, some silver, uh, a mystery shard. Uh, but the main thing is this uh, free energy. After playing for an hour in the game, you unlock free energy, which is a free refill of energy. So as you go up in a level, your max energy counter is going to increase. Mine's 42 at the minute. So every time I'm leveling up, I'm getting an extra 42 energy. Um, if ever I pop one of these, I'm getting an extra 42 energy. Uh, on top of that, so this is stacked up. So we've got 246 energy so far. Um, but we can't regenerate over that. <clears throat> um, so if you ever drop below 42 energy, your, max, your maximum energy amount... Um, Whatever that is, it could be 42, it could be, I think max is like 120 something, I don't know. But whenever you drop below that, you kind of regenerate energy um, over time. So if you've got no energy, just yeah, close the game down or something, wait for like six hours or so. And you'll have like a full energy pool again. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what how much the time is, but it's a certain amount of time. You'll, it'll, you'll yeah, regenerate full energy. Um, okay, so we've got a Dawn here to indicate that we've got new champions, which was this guy. Um, we've also got dots in here to say that we've got new pieces, new artifact pieces. Um, and I might as well just equip these now. This is my War Priest. This is, this is the healer. We're going to want her to be a bit tanky. So we're going to put these H HP sets on her. <laughs> Pardon me. Now this isn't ideal because as well as healing and buffing she also attacks so any extra damage is always welcome because it's always a free turn because her skills at the minute that's four turn and that's five turn so every um, three turns she's going to be doing a one attack we want that to do some damage as well uh, but we don't really have um, too good of uh, arm sets at the minute. We're gonna place these HP ones on her. Uh, so let's um, equip with these. And these are kind of like good little sets to place on them as they're kind of um, think like tutorial sets, things that are kind of recommended to put on your champion. So you get given this healer and then you get given a HP set. So it's kind of recommended to use them on that champion. Um, and we could take all these up to level 4 again, no problem. So it's just going to take a little bit of time just to get these up here. Uh, but we may also have some leftover artifacts we could place on our other champions. Um, so also when you're placing, looking to place artifacts on champions that you're going to use, you want to be careful what you place on them. Because um, silver is a really... Um, going to be a really hard to maintain resource uh, in early game, especially up and through to mid game. He could be running out of silver a lot. Um, so you want to be careful what kind of gear sets you put on your champions. Um, because you know, it costs money to change, swap these out to other artifact sets, especially the higher the level the um, artifact is. So, you know, even taking these up to, to level 4, these are 3 star epics, which is going to be a higher value than 2 star. Um, or, or, you know, a much greater than 1 star. This is... 
How much is that? That was like 15,000, 15 to 20,000 silver. Just get all these up to four, uh, plus four. So you do need to be careful about that as well. Watch your silver, watch what you're trying to upgrade. Um. Yeah, so we do, I am going to put one or two on her because she is an attack champion. And she does really well. I'm not going to put them all on. Just these little ones, just for a little bit of a attack boost. Okay, and we're only using these ones as well. Because currently, with uh, the gear that we can acquire, um, especially from campaign, so what we can get from campaign, if we just have a quick look in here, um, what can we get? Uh, right, okay, so each one of these stages are going to have a uh, correspond to a different um, piece of armor uh, or weapon. So. Um, so your first three stages are your top three slots on your champion's uh, artifacts equipment page uh, on your character sheet. You know, uh, so, so these have like these a few weapons. They're all going to be attacks. These are all going to drop the same, uh, but you can only get one star, two star, or three star from these. And on stage seven, it can be random. It could be any of these, but you also get a chance to get a rare. Uh, so from these ones, so the bottom three are the hardest ones to get because these have got all these stats that can apply to that uh, pe that piece of armor. Uh, so they're a little bit harder to farm for, uh, but generally these ones are all going to be the same. Well, these are all going to be the same stats regardless of which. Um, yeah, so they're all going to have the same thing on there. Your weapon's always going to have attack. Your helmet's always going to have HP, and your shield is always going to have defense on there. Um, so you're mainly looking out for substats on these, and the higher star rating. Um, but yeah, like all of these, all of these ones up to stage six are going to either be the um, the lower, the white ones, the common ones, or they're going to be green ones um, with ones that included. Uh, I don't believe you can get any rares from there. I think you can only get rares from stage seven, but again, that's a random, a random drop for that. But even though it's going to be random, it's still going to be this part of the same set. It's still going to be part of the offense set. Um, so you can focus farm offense pieces from stage seven if you wanted to, or you can go even, uh, you know, pinpoint that even more and get the aim for the kind of slot that you want to go for. Um, okay, so that's a little bit about <laughs> uh, gear sets. Um, so, like at the minute, as well, like a lot of people ask, uh, what's the best place to focus on as you start start the game? Um, actually, I might go. I might leave that for another video. Right now, we're just going through a bit of this campaign campaign area. So we're on normal. There's three more difficulties on this. Nightmare is super hard. That's really end game stuff, but. So if you want to be aiming to get to Brutal and get as far as you can through Brutal uh, because that's where you're going to find your best farming spot um, up until mid game, um, mid to end game you will be trying to push through into actually just end game you want to be going into Nightmare that's when you're going to hopefully have the champions required to take you through that so yeah all the way up into mid game and beyond Brutal is going to be your key farming spot and that is going to be on stage uh, Acts 12 stage 3 um, or 6, you could do 3 or 6 6 for a bit more XP, 3 for XP and silver uh, 3 for XP and silver um, so as you can see as well, in each one of these, as we go through you get these little bars at the bottom <laughs> and these are going to be your star rewards so at the end of each of these, you have a chance to have a uh, to get a sacred shard. I have to think then what it was. Um, and this one is a void shard. Okay. So we need to get 252 stars in order to get that void shard. And to get those 252 shards, 
we need to get three stars on all stages in the campaign. And to do that, <clears throat> we need to follow the rules. Um, which it tells you here. You can go into detail on this. Um, but it gives you a brief synopsis of what it is here. So one star for beating the stage, two stars for beating the stage with no losses, and three stars for beating the stage with no losses with two or fewer champions. Um, so we are going to attempt to do that now. Okay, so we've got three stars at the top for the victory. Um, so you can... I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. You can either, like, wait till the end and just go through them all, collect all your, collect all your rewards at the end, a three-star I think, and all that stuff. Or you can uh, get to your progress point, go back, and then just kind of, you know, progressively uh, hit them three stars. Yeah, you know, that's that's all the way all the way down to the person. <clears throat> uh, but you eventually want to be working on those to get some some of those extra shards, and I do believe you get some uh, some XP bonuses and some energy, sort of silver and some skill up books. Uh, and experience always helps. We unlocked clans as well, so let's skip that again for now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on getting these for now. Because you can see we get some dailies done while we're doing this as well, which is brilliant. <clears throat> I've actually gone into the next act, hadn't even realised. Okay, so we're not going to get anything for that, it's just going to be two stars again. Uh, but we've uh, gone through the first act, we're getting all those three stars, so that's pretty good. Uh, level 10 pack, so we reached level 10, so we get a, a pack that we could buy. This is actually a pretty good value. You get a sacred shard, three void shards, three ancient shards, 500 energy, 1,000, uh, 100,000 silver, and 350 gems for 15 pounds. That is actually not too bad, considering how high they rate these two shards. Um, but we're free to play. We're not going to get this. <laughs> uh, if, if it was me, I'm on normal account. I had a bit of cash spare. Uh, spare round, I probably will get that, and I'm pretty sure I did get that on my other account as well. Because uh, those shards are nice, so they're going to help give you a boosted chance to get an extra champion. Um, but you know, you don't have to get them. They're not necessary to uh, to beat the game to, to get where you want to in the game. They're just uh, pay to progress kind of features in the game. Um, and we get a progression reward. Hopefully this is going to be my XP, daily XP. Um, okay. So there is a free version of the of leveling up. <clears throat> so if we go to the shop, oh Jesus, all these like free things, which <laughs> I need to explain as I'm going through. So, right, so there's a shop, and this is where you can spend uh, actual real world money to buy items. You can spend gems to to buy uh, resources. Um, yeah, why is that like split? There's gems to buy silver and everything else is cash, and then gems to buy energy and energy shards and potions. Weird. Okay, uh, daily and progression, the sacred daily pack. Uh, so here's another one. So this is like kind of um, same kind of thing. This is 20, 29 pounds. Uh, for all these lovely shards and energy and gems. Uh, a daily gem pack. 
um, style pack as well, ten pounds for one inch and one void. Don't really get as much with that one. Pound a pack, Jesus Christ! And we get a pack. So this is what we saw earlier. This is the one where you can buy to get rewards as you level up, uh, which have higher rewards uh, than the other one. But that's <coughs> kind of a uh, a pay to progress progress version of it. And then we got a free to play version. And these are the just general packs that they throw up every now and then. Uh, so we'll go to our free version, which is our progression rewards. And we can collect these um, at any time. You can save it till you get to like 60 and then click them all. Or you can just select them as you go. Um, I wanted to get this for the XP boost. Just so we get a lot more energy from our champions. Uh, champions as we go through the stages, which means they're going to level up a lot quicker. Yeah, we're going to be able to progress them up a lot quicker, especially while we're at the start, because we're getting all this energy, we're going to want to use it, and it's just going to allow everyone to level up so much quicker. Um, but before I do that, let me just check to make sure we haven't got it got it anywhere else. Um, so in our campaigns, we've got some silver, we can collect that. we also got some gems. So if we get 45 stars, we can get another XP uh, a one day XP banner, so there's another option. Um, the thing is, with the XP banners, you don't want to use them all straight away uh, because once you use them, they just stack up on your XP slot. Um, so if we let's see if we got one here as well, so we've got one in our camp and our progression missions, and I'll get go through this in, an, in another video. If you're not if you're unsure on where you should go, you can always follow these challenges and these missions as a guideline for where you should kind of aim for at this level at the level you're at and that will kind of give you a bit of a direction on where to go so um actually uh i am gonna save this for the next video this one's getting a, a kind of long um so yeah so I've talked a bit about artifacts, taking them up to level four, getting your like team ready, and also talked about these stars. These stars are vital for getting a few progressive rewards. Uh, if you're trying to progress, you don't want to do it with two champions. You want to put a full team in there. But as we go for stars, we can just throw in these two champions, and that should be good enough to get us those those stars that we need to get the the rewards. Let's just fill out a few more of these. So, because this is pretty much just going to be me doing this for now and leveling up. Oh god. We've got Dungeons Unlocked as well. This is the exciting one, so we'll get to that in another video as well. Um, so actually, I'm just going to hurry on until it stops us. <clears throat> um, but yeah, basically, this is kind of the next stage. Once you pick a champion, you want to. Um, you know, start doing your campaign mission. Oh, that, that's the only thing you can do. Even when you're leveling up, sh just uh, ignore everything else. Use your use your generated energy that you get from leveling up as a kind of like as a booster. Get through as much as these campaign missions as far as you can get with this energy because it's a good way to use it at the start. Is just to get these campaign missions cleared. Um. Because yeah, like once you get to a certain point, like I said, it's get, you're gonna slow down a lot. You're not gonna have as much energy, uh, you know, as as much as this anyway. Uh, so things are gonna start to slow down a lot. So yeah, first things you want to do is try and find the quickest route to get the XP banner. One that you 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 can <coughs> one that you, um one that it doesn't matter if you save it or use it now. So. I'm gonna pop this one in the next one, but yeah, you know, get into those 45 stars, you get an option there to use. And I'll probably not use that one, but use the uh, mission one. Because once you unlock that, then you can progress on to the next one, and then it unlocks the next mission, uh, so you can see where to go next. So, my recommendation would be to use this one. That's gonna be for 24 hours. So, that gives you plenty of time if you're coming on, starting a new champion. 
kind of uh, really get the maximum benefit from all this free energy that you're getting while you're leveling up and just like i said try concentrate on campaign get through that as far as you can with your double xp and your energy pool to really like level up your champions um you know for now none of this stuff should matter too much um like we have daily quests we can get these done these are going to give us experience um and these are going to give us gems which is what we want but we won't start unlocking all of our dailies until we uh, unlock these i haven't uh, clicked any of these yet just because these are experience and we're getting enough while we are leveling up at the minute while we go through campaign to level it up um and yeah so i mean you can click on these to use them faster if you plan on playing for longer uh, to really boost that energy gain Um, but yeah, so we're going to stop this video here for now. Um, so that's basically it. Just from the start, pick a champion and then focus on campaign, getting your XP banner and then getting as far as you can through this um, until we get stopped. And then in the next video, we'll talk about what to do next. Um, but yeah, that's it for me for now. If you like this video, click that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.